A new report finds Illinois has the worst rate of solving homicides in the country. WBEZ's Susie Ann has that story. The Group Murder Accountability Project tracks unsolved homicides. In a new report, it found Illinois solved or cleared about 37 percent of the more than 750 homicides from last year. That's significantly lower than the national rate of 61.5 percent. I'm Tom Hargrove, a retired investigative reporter. And I'm Eric Witzig, a retired homicide detective. We and other volunteers like us formed a nonprofit organization called the Murder Accountability Project. It's our goal to help America's homicide detectives clear unsolved murders by compiling the nation's most complete list of unsolved killings. And we want to inform the public about the growing problem of unsolved murder so that more resources will be provided to law enforcement. This is ABC 7 News. Tonight, an I-Team investigation reveals really a startling fact. Criminals have a very good chance of literally getting away with murder in several Bay Area cities. Dan Noyes has been crunching the numbers, and he is here with the story, and I think uh, what we're going to hear is surprising. Dan. Well, Natasha and Dan, someone is thinking right now, you shouldn't talk about this because you'll give a bad guy an idea. But the experts say the best thing to do is expose the problem and pressure our police departments, public officials, and voters to take action. We encourage you to come to our website at murderdata.org to discover how often homicides in your community are cleared through the arrest of the offenders. We have assembled data from thousands of police departments that report homicide information to the federal government. If you, if you count homicide as a conflict, the murders committed since 1980 are one of the worst wars America has ever experienced. Thomas Hargrove launched the Murder Accountability Project with a group of retired FBI investigators, criminologists, and investigative reporters. Their data shows nearly 90% of murders were solved in 1965. Now, that number has dropped to about 60%. We want to inform the public about this growing problem, but we also want to directly assist law enforcement in their active and cold case investigations. We have assembled records on more than 700,000 homicides, including tens of thousands of murders not reported to the FBI. This is the largest and most complete accounting of homicides available anywhere. We encourage detectives to test their theories about whether crimes in their own or different jurisdictions could be linked to their cases. We do this free of charge. Anyone, anywhere in the world can call up details of America's unsolved homicides. This is a very powerful tool. We hope law enforcement can use these data to connect the dots for major challenges such as detecting serial murder. To connect those dots, Hargrove and his team began collecting homicide data from all 50 states. And if necessary, filing lawsuits against those states that refused to make their data public. What he's created is the most comprehensive database of homicide in the US one more thorough than any government agency. He calls it the Murder Accountability Project, and what it reveals is alarming. Please support our mission. We seek to inform the public about this problem and to give police new tools to bring justice to more than 200,000 unsolved murders. Your tax-deductible donations will cover our operating expenses, our legal costs to obtain information about unreported murders, and our travel expenses to attend meetings of homicide detectives. Thank, Thank you. you.